there are not enough spaces for men in society to show up and allow themselves to be vulnerable in a safe space and i want to pay homage to two men who have managed to be able to do that and i've witnessed it with my own two eyes in the last four years so let me tell you a story about them predominantly my clientele is female however i always have had a handful of male clients and they have the same struggles as we do lads uh, girls i call everybody lads uh, they have the same struggles as us they just don't communicate it often enough so on the very first day of my very first workshop those all those years four years ago now in here in Drogheda two men arrived I didn't know who they were I had never met them and they sat at the back of the room the room was jammers I thought to myself they've come together they know each other because they were sitting beside each other but they didn't they actually just beaconed towards each other because they were both guys and they were looking for support and both of those gentlemen completely allowed themselves to be vulnerable 100 percent they participated in all of the activities one of them actually volunteered to come up on stage with me and um, for me to speak to him and and be interviewed and all that kind of crack that's the first thing that i want to say about those two men bearing in mind strangers we now know they were, they were strangers okay fast forward two more years and i host my very first warrior men event whereby we have a round table of 10 men where we open and openly and honestly discuss challenges that we're having and they are discussed in an anonymous fashion there's no names attached to the topics and both of them arrived for that that event is two years old today so first of all congratulations to all of the warrior men who t showed up that night and then the third thing that i want to say about these particular two men they're trailblazers bla like clearly trailblazers i started a group on the 13th of december last year called positive mindset men it is an online group where we do deep personal development every single day and both of those guys joined that group they are showing up for themselves they are showing up for their children they are showing up for their careers their community their families their friends their colleagues but most importantly they're showing up for them they are digging deep and they are doing the work the work is not easy never mix up simple with easy the work is hard but i am in the privileged position that i have seen those two guys spread their wings and grow over the last four years both of them are unrecognizable due to the hard work grit and determination that they have both put into themselves and i am super super proud of them and they are a beacon of hope for all other men who strive to be like them. Those two men are Barry Morta and Gus Bourne. I love these two guys with all of my heart. They are leaders in what it means to be a man. And I am, I'm going to get emotional. I'm just delighted that they work with me. I'm very proud of that. There's two other people that I want to pay homage to and I'm going to really try not cry. And they are my husband and my son. On International Man's Day, Men's Day, Man's Day, whatever you want to call it, I want to thank Barry and Gus for being them and showing up for them. And I also want to thank my husband, Neil Bourne, and my son, Jamie Bourne. I firstly want to thank Neil for being a wonderful husband and father and showing our children what it means to be a man in strength and in vulnerability not only being a man but being a husband and being a father and as a direct result of that we have a son 
who is growing up to be an outstanding young man. He is reliable, he is independent, he is responsible, gets into trouble every now and again, but on the whole, he's all of those things. But what I'm most proud of is that our son, Jamie, is the benchmark for all men that our daughter, Charlie, chooses to spend time with. And if my son, Jamie, is the benchmark, she's only going to hang around with really stellar people. Okay? So the young men in my daughter's life will always have Jamie as the benchmark. Okay? It is extremely important that we empower the young men in our lives to know that they have a response ability with the younger people that is coming up behind them to be a lighthouse and a beacon of how it is supposed to be done, okay? So I wanna give a shout out to all the guys who work with me and say to us, you are few, but you are strong. And you are breaking the mold and you're doing me proud. You're making yourself proud. But by you doing the work, you are indirectly giving permission to other men to do the same. It is my mission to be able to work through the tools that I have with as many guys as I possibly can. Because I feel adamant about this, that there's not enough spaces for guys to be able to lean in and allow themselves to be vulnerable and courageous. So to Barry Morta, to Gus Bourne, to my husband Neil and my son Jamie, I salute yourself. Happy International Men's Day.